Hello traders. So when everyone is out there partying on a weekend, me, I'm trading and making money. As you can see guys, I took this trade this last week on Sunday, this last Sunday just, which was, let's see, this is the 21st. So meaning that was the 19th of this November. Traders, most of you guys know that Forex market operate from Monday to Friday, five days a week, 24 hours a day. But most of you guys ignore Saturday and Sunday. Why? The crypto market is open and you can still analyze cryptocurrencies and you'll be able to make money. So most of you guys think the only way to make money in crypto market is by buying and holding your coins. But, but I can also uh, trade with my small money, as you can see, I had 2K and I flipped it to more than 3,000 US dollars. As you can see, I have 6K on my account. So when everyone is putting, I'm trading guys and I want to show you how I caught this massive trade and before we jump into that I'm using FX view as my broker and you can see guys I'm first going to close off this trade here uh -huh, that gold trade and reason why I love X FX view it has one of the craziest spreads when come when it comes to trading gold so look at the spread on on FX view let's put it on now look at how small the spread is right there you see well, when you compare it to other pairs I mean to other brokers you see that they've spread on these other brokers is way crazy guys so so guys if you're new around here make sure to subscribe and let's jump into this video and also yes i'm trading on a real account as you can see guys so readers this is my btc chart so the next time when you're on a weekend and if you like making money trade btc but the best way is to always trade according to the trend of the market. So most of you guys know we are in a bullish market for BTC, you see, an uptrend. So we like to look for buys only. So even me, I was looking for buys. And you can see from the screen recording that I just showed you at the beginning of this video. So how did I take this trade? Guys, when you look how price has been shooting up for BTC, it has been, it has been leaving a lot of fair value gaps and demand and supply zones so this is our daily time frame guys so i wanted to show you the daily time frame first so you can see how price has been moving up and down but when price reached this zone right here and it reached this zone right here this was uh, the 10th of november but me i took my trade on the 19th of november so you can see when price reached that zone up there so that zone acted as our resistance meaning price would never break that part right there you see now price comes down from here to down here and it goes back up but it, it didn't just go up as i mentioned this is full of demand and supply so anytime when you see doji candles these doji candles can also be demand and supply zones but not only that we also have consolidation consolidation can also act as demand so we mark out this right here you see we mark it out just like this the consolidation uh -huh. just like that that's why price bounced off from here so this would be a nice trade to take but now let me jump on to why did i take my trade and next time when you're on a weekend use this information wisely so that you can also be able to make money on a weekend so this is what I just drew. See traders, price had reached this zone right here on the 10th of November. It came back down and it showed back up aggressively. But when it showed up, up when it showed back up aggressively, it left a fair value gap in here. This one right here. This is fair value gap traders. Fair value gap is insufficient price action. For those that don't know what fair value gap means. So this is fair value gap. Now, not even just fair value gap, it also left this consolidation right here. Since we have one, two, three, four big candles to the upper side, actually, you can count from this one. One, two, three. These are big candles to the upper side. It makes this a demand zone. So, a demand zone is any zone in the market that causes an upside move to the upper side. So, you draw it out like that. See, traders? We are going to draw it out like that. So, now, this would be another good trade for someone to take. Why? The only confirmation you need to take on a demand or supply zone is you just need price to tap in once and go back to the upper side. Traders, I repeat, demand zones 
you only you're only you're only supposed to see price tap in and go back to the upper side something you're almost seeing here you see price taps in and starts shooting back up straight away we had a little bit of consolidation but this is more of a good demand zone listen to this one but if price break if price taps in and starts consolidating that is very bad so you can see here price tapped in went up to big candles from here to up there this is really much money price comes back there again starts going back up so again this would be another nice trade guys i'm telling you how you can trade the btc on any time of the day beat week weekdays but mostly for me i prefer sundays you can see traders so price comes back down here so we can't forget the fact that price had tried breaking our resistance this one so it gave us a fake out you see so one thing you need to understand traders anytime when you have price give us a fake out price is likely to come back here it's likely to come out here because most of the peer traders thought okay price is continuing to go back to the upper side it breaks it fakes you out takes out your money comes back down you know so now for us we knew price is supposed to come back up and how do i know it left this fair value gap in the market so anytime when i have a fair value gap in the market it doesn't mean price is going to always come back and fill it up but in case i see signs that price is going to fill it up i mark it out and i wait for confirmation so now this is my fair value gap that was my main focus so price was currently trending up here at this part right here i hope you guys are seeing this zone here now for you to be able to see my confirmations i have to jump into my one hour time frame so traders now one key thing that i look out for as my confirmation hmm, is candlestick patterns you can see how price respected this zone right here support support no candle closed below this black line and all candles are giving us nice and all candles are giving us nice reversal candles look at this candle right here there was rejection right there rejection hammer spinning top that shows that price is indecisive but it probably reverse and we have another candle right there that tells us price is going to reverse and go back to the upper side guys so i waited for this red candle to close and i took my trade on this candle right here guys i didn't wait for any confirmation the confirmation that i wanted is to see candlestick pattern that told me price is reversing so when i took this trade i was only expecting one thing traders all i wanted this price to close above this zone right here and so that i can protect my profits and you guys so i protected my profits when price closed above this zone right here and not only that price had given us a w pattern reversal pattern to the upper side so guys stay awake <laughs> so i caught this trade to the upper side i already protected my profits you can see so as i mentioned anytime when you have price pushing up aggressively expect price to leave zones in this market so price leaves zones so you see price left this fair value gap you see this one and look what happened this one week look at it comes and almost fills it up and shoots back to the upper side guys you see trading the forex market has never been hard guys most of these things just keep on repeating themselves so the fair value gap that I, that i wanted price to fill up it was this side on my four hour time frame not on my one hour time frame so i didn't take my trades on smaller time frame so guys me i'll be honest with you the days where i don't wait for like really confirmations if i know something it's going to go my way i just take the trade as long as i protect my money i repeat as long as i protect my money so here i was risking only 30 pips traders one key thing about me i am always going to protect my money so if market moves up more than 20 30 pips i protect my money so this was a risk free trade for me guys you can see now price is currently trending above this black line which is acting as our major resistance line guys so i'm going to be seeing what price is bringing and i'll be letting you know on next weekend when i trade btc again guys and remember the next time people are out partying on a weekend trade bitcoin and make some money for you that money can take you to dubai for a trip have a nice one